Justin Herbert. I think we have to talk about him. We had a thrilling Sunday night football game. Phenomenal. The Chiefs beat the Chargers 30 to 27. The Chiefs are 8 and 2 and the Chargers are now 5 and 5. And because their record is what it is, 5 wins, 5 losses, there is a legit question of whether or not the Chargers are making the playoffs. And if they don't make the playoffs, that would mean Justin Herbert has missed the playoffs in each of his first three seasons. And I'm wondering from you guys, how do you feel Justin Herbert will be viewed if he misses the playoffs again? And should he be excused from missing the playoffs? Um, I think he'll get a lot of disrespect. You know, I think he's even missing the playoffs over the last two years. I've seen people give him a lot of disrespect. And, and a lot of it is from guys whose quarterbacks just aren't as good as his. You know, I've looked at it from Miami fans. I've looked at it from a lot, a lot of Bengals fans. You know, guys just that, that stack up with Herbert, like you guys that he's always being compared to. And you look at Justin Herbert's career, you look at over the last two, three seasons, he's been amazing. You know, he's been top three quarterback in the top three to top five quarterback in the NFL. But he has valid excuses. I think like this year, his team's been banged up. And even still, he still has them. Even him, he's hurt. He still has them fighting for a playoff spot, possibly still able to get in. But I think when you look at it, eventually, you know, as much as the excuses he has, you got to look at it and be like, damn, when are you going to get in the playoffs? You know, as talented as you are, as great as you are, top five in the game, top four in the game. I personally have him number three. You know, I think he's behind Allen and Mahomes. You're this great. When are you eventually going to see the playoffs? You know, year three, no playoffs. is still, no matter how many excuses, whether they're good or bad, you have, that's not good. And that's going to get a lot of disrespect and a lot of hate towards Justin Herbert. And even though he has those excuses, I still think it's going to get a lot of bad image on his you know, on his career and on his uh, image. As a Dolphin supporter and as an avid wow. Dolphin. And Denver I, I'm fan. Gonna, I'm gonna, oh, sure. And Cowboys fan. Uh, and Giants fan. No, Giants. Cowboys, no way. Giants. Lions fan also. Love my G-men. Uh, again, so we're associated with Giants. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just going to ask. I'm quick. just wondering. <laughs> um, so that being said, no as, a, as a member of... Oh, for the stat. No. As a member of FinFam especially on Twitter, I see a lot of people within Dolphins Twitter being extremely, extremely critical of Herbert. And I have to understand this. Um, and I'm not someone who likes to criticize Herbert because I think that when it comes to talent, there are very few more talented than Justin Literally Herbert. Literally only two. But the Dolphins fan, the average Dolphin fan, I should say, or majority of them, they will group Herbert and Tua till the day they die because that was picks five and six. Now, and and Chargers fans love to say how, thank you, Dolphins. Thank you, Dolphins, for giving us Justin Herbert. So I understand why they will constantly try to bash Herbert as much as they can. But being someone who is in Dolphins Twitter, I am not going to be one to do so because I understand circumstance and context. Rookie season, Justin Herbert was absolutely amazing, had one of the worst offensive lines in the league. Do defense still wasn't that great. Year two. He was sensational, just unbelievable past every metric you would want to see from a quarterback. In the last game of the season, he puts his team in position to go into overtime, has an amazing drive, amazing passing touchdown on fourth down to Mike Williams. Just you could not have scripted any better. Justin Herbert was all world, was not able to come away with the win. His, his coach, honestly, is the reason why they did not go to the playoffs because he was over-aggressive, called the timeout, tried to to, to ice the kicker, and inst or, I, not ice the kicker. They, he tried to do something to mess with the clock, and then the, I'm just off the top of my head, I'm failing to remember it clearly, but it ended up forcing the, the Raiders to be a little bit more aggressive, ended up coming away with the win and not taking the draw. Now this year, no Keenan, no Mike Will or not being together at the same time for a while. Keenan Allen just made his third appearance this season last night. I just can't look at Herbert this year, where even still he's top 10 in yards, top 10 in touchdowns, and, and still be super critical of him. Has he thrown interceptions to end the game a couple times this season? Yes. This one this last night was a tip ball. That was a great play made by the defender. Was a questionable decision. I will give you that. Should not have probably made that throw on the run, but there's there's less than a minute left on the clock. You do have you do have a couple timeouts left, but you did just take a sack. 
You're trying to make something happen. And Herbert is the offense. He's trying to make something happen. Fails to do so. I cannot be overcritical of Herbert. I believe that even still, where the team is better, the defense still is not there. The rush defense is still not great. And you're playing the Chiefs. If this is the game that you look at and we highlight to say, this is why the Chargers aren't going to make the playoffs, I disagree with that. The Chargers come in, I mean, the Chiefs come in as one of the hottest teams in football. The offense is clicking on all cylinders. You had to know that the last drive, you give, you give Mahomes a chance, he's going to go down the field and score. It seems like it's every time with this guy. I'm not blaming, I'm not blaming Herbert, and I'm not going to look at him and change my perspective of Herbert. I know who he is. I understand his skill set. I understand what he can achieve. So I'm not going to be one of those that's going to add fuel to the fire and say that Herbert is overrated and should be overanalyzed and criticized more than he already is. He's already receiving criticism because he's not playing to how we've seen in the last two years, and that's due to circumstance. And even still, he has his team in a position to make the playoffs. That's a testament to how great Justin Herbert is. There's a brand new fantasy app. It's called Boom Fantasy. You got over-unders, player props. You got matchups. This player versus that player. That's personally my favorite. And long shots. You can win 40 times your money. And if I'm not mistaken, Joel, NBA is coming soon. Yes, sir. NBA will be in the app in the next 10 days or so. You know, wow. I believe opening night is October 19th. So we'll have stuff up a few days beforehand. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's going to be fun because we uh, have it every night. You don't have to wait till Monday, your, Thursday. Did you get your code? For the league pass? I did get my code I for the league pass. I got my code too. Yep, that's amazing. Oh, that's from 2K, right? Yes. That's tough. That's, amazing. that's fire. So if you guys haven't already <laughs> downloaded the Boom Fantasy app right now, link is in our description or in the caption wherever you're watching. To answer the question plainly, how is he going to be viewed? He is going to be, be viewed as a quarterback that doesn't win. It's as simple as that. That can't will his team to the playoffs. I think there's a lot of similarities with Justin Herbert to Matthew Stafford in Detroit where – Stafford was miscasted as a quarterback that was a losing quarterback because of the Lions situation. I do understand the Lions situation is, is better. I mean, no, the, the Lions situation was worse than the Chargers, although you did have years with Calvin Johnson. You did have some years where your defense was great, and that was the years that, that made the playoffs. Justin Herbert was phenomenal versus the Chiefs. 280 yards, completed 76% of his passes, had two touchdowns, a 113.2 passer rating. The interception was with 38 seconds left in the clock. It was a bad decision, there's no doubt. But the drive before, he led the Chargers down the For field. Sure. Got a touchdown. If his defense holds up, they win that game. And that's kind of been the story between these battles with the Chargers and KC. The Chargers play them well, but they, it's always Mahomes who's making the last and final play. People will mention Kurt Herbert's late-game interceptions as a reason as to why he's not clutch. His Week 2 interception against the Chiefs, where Gerald Everett ran like kind of like a stick route, he was gassed on the route, and he didn't finish the route. Herbert threw it in anticipation. It, got, it was a pick six. I don't blame that on Herbert. Week 10, interception against Talanoa Hufangu, Hufanga in the 49ers. Charles Amenahu hit Herbert's arm, and the ball came out horrible. But Herbert was about to hit the open guy, but just his arm being hit led to the interception. This was the interception versus the Chiefs where I thought it was a bad decision. He threw it into double coverage, and then Nick Bolton came up and, and uh, picked up the scraps of that play because it was tipped up in the air. You look at the AFC playoffs, you have the Chiefs, Dolphins, Titans, Ravens, Bills, Patriots, and Bengals in it right now. I, I have a feeling the Patriots drop out, and the Chargers' next six is going to tell a lot about this team. You have Arizona who just got smoked by San Fran. Jimmy G, four touchdowns. Ha- yeah, you have the Raiders that you're going to face. They have a horrible defense. You have the Dolphins and the Titans, Colts, Rams, and the Broncos. I look at Arizona and the Raiders as games you should win. I view the Colts game as a game you should win. The Rams as a game you should win now that Stafford is even more hurt and John Wolford might be playing. I, I Stafford is in concussion protocol, I believe. He was, yes. out, he was ruled out with a concussion. So even if he comes back, the Rams have been a mess all season. That's four wins in itself. That puts them at nine. I think the Broncos should be a, a, a week 18 win for the Chargers. The toss-ups for me are the Dolphins and the Titans. The Dolphins because their offense is explosive, and the Titans because they're just well coached, and you can't count out Mike Vrabel and what that team could Amen. do on a week-to-week basis. Amen to that. So the, there, it's, to me, five games you should win. And this is going to determine their season. What was the question again? We went. We've been talking for a while. 
How is Justin Herbert going to be viewed if he misses the playoffs again? And you did say that you think eventually he's going to be start showing as not being able to will his team to the playoffs. I said that. You, you did. I said that's how they No, I'm just him. saying right now. Do you uh, agree with that, though? No, I don't. I didn't say I agree with that. No, okay. I don't agree with that. I just wanted to make myself clear. But that's how. I, that's what the narrative is going to be. But, yeah, what do but you, I don't. But you feel that's not it. Yeah. No, that's what I said. That's what the narrative will be around so, but, Herbert. But in my opinion, or let me say this really quick. And I'm sorry to cut you off. Does that really matter? The narrative around Their him. Their perspective. I'm not saying it matter, but that's what it's going to be. But does it matter? No. Um, for me, it doesn't. I think Herbert's a winning that's quarterback. That's why it's ridiculous to me. It that does we're even feel ridiculous. sitting here talking about it. really it. does. Because we know how great Justin Herbert is. This game against the Chiefs happened. I mean, the interception against Gerald Everett in the pick six kind of sealed it. But regardless, he was making plays all game. And then last year against the Raiders in the playoffs, he had that team in position to win. That's kind of been the story of just the Chargers, though, right? Everything <clears throat> seems to not go their way, whether it's injuries, it's field goals, just weird stuff happening to them. They were talking on the broadcast last night that – it feels like the Chargers always have a quarterback, right? It was Phillip Rivers forever. They had Drew Brees for a couple of years. Dan Fouts back in the day was one of the better quarterbacks. And now you have Justin Herbert, who everyone views as a franchise guy. And they've been doing this basically ever since I've been a fan of football. And they've had some good teams. You know, they've had the Antonio Gates years. They've had these years with Mike Evans, excuse me, with Mike Williams and Keenan Allen, where they've had offenses that should be explosive and should be able to get things LT done. Austin years, Eckler, Antonio LT. Gates. Yeah, I mean, like, the list really goes on and on where teams. they've had these talented rosters and have just always come up short for whatever reason. It feels like it's a new weird reason every year. When you look at Justin Herbert play, though, Drew said it, there's, and Rip, you said it, actually, there's two guys who are better than him. It's Josh Allen Mahomes when we're talking about just arm talent as a quarterback. Those are the only two guys. And Patrick Mahomes even said... He makes some throws that I can't make. Yeah. That's how special Justin Herbert is. I mean, he's a, he's a one-of-one one type of quarterback, and any team They're other than those AFC. two teams would be taking Justin Herbert. Oh, you're taking him over everybody. I know you're a Joe Burrow guy, but I, I would rather have Justin Herbert in a vacuum over Joe Burrow well, as close. well. He's also it's an very AFC. close. All the Justin nice. Herbert could just do some special, if you, special if things. If you want to lean Justin They're Herbert, that's fine, but J- Joe Burrow, he's right he's there. Not Herbert's, I mean, Burrow's. And so is Tua. So is Hurts. Uh, you know, Tua needs more time. We have multiple years of Burrow. <laughs> you know what, man? Tua. Um, Burrow that is Herbert. a very I'll meet you in the middle type yeah, of statement right listen, there. Thank Tua you. Statistically, when have I you said can't, anything different? You can't enough. You know, deny it. <laughs> hey, I just want to let you guys know that quietly this season, Jimmy Garoppolo has a 100 passer nah, rating. Nah, he's been good. 11 touchdowns to four interceptions. And today had four touchdowns four. to zero interceptions and a 131.9 passer rating. I need my brothers right now. Next week, playoff start in fantasy. I'm torn. Jimmy Garoppolo or Tom Brady? I don't know. Brady plays the Browns, and Garoppolo plays, off the top of my head, I'm blanking. Dolphins? No. Damn it. Who does he play? One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. New Orleans. This is one of the tougher decisions I've had. Garoppolo this year has had a 100 passer rating five times. His worst passer rating game was against the Broncos, 81.3. I need my brothers right now. Brady or Garoppolo? That's tough. <laughs> no, it's a two. Now they're play Thursday, right? I would go with Brady. I think that's what I'm leaning to. You have Godwin to, right? I do. I'm starting Gotti. Yeah. Gotti's Gotti. an insta Gotti's start. actually a firm nickname. Yeah, I know. Lil, I call him Lil Gotti. But to the Chargers, if they miss the playoffs, Brandon Staley should be fired. Yeah. Ooh. It's as simple as that. I you probably will be. They'll, everyone, all the coaches who are out there can look at the Chargers as the top job to get. 29th of in Herbert. points allowed. They're 19th against the pass, 30th against the run. Defense is dog shit. He has not fixed the defense, and that's the nope. side that he should be an expert on. And I'm looking at coaching candidates. Sean Payton is the one that jumps out to you. But maybe the Chargers are a bit hesitant because you do have to trade something to get Sean Payton. You just can't you sign him. Yeah. Wow. He's under contract with the Saints, so you have to give them a draft pick or something wow, really? to get That's Sean Payton. What is he? like? He's just not. He's could, under contract until 2024. Yeah, but though they could easily do it behind the scenes where Sean Payton's basically like, I'm coaching for the Chargers and no one else, and they'll take a six-round pick. I doubt that's going to happen. I mean, what else are you going to You're going to tell Sean Payton, no, you're not going to coach for another team. You think, you think that Sean Payton is really going to say, going to do that? He's going to. Like fuck yes. over the Saints organization. He's not gonna that's fuck not him over, over, but he's just, he's just gonna tell him straight up, like, yo. But I this think is my I think decision. Sean Payne is a respectable guy where he'll be yeah. like, I want you to maximize your value on me too. What do you What do you think they have to trade for Sean Payne? It's a head coach. I bro. think a second round pick. Saints don't what? have. What? I'd be I'd be shocked.